Hey guys, what's up? We're back with another wine video. So you want to know more about wine but you're intimidated and you don't know where to start. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three simple things so that you can easily get started with wine. Okay, so number one, red or white? The easy answer to this is of course if you're going to be pairing your wines with food, that makes things a whole lot easier. You basically pair with the color of your food, with the color of your wine. Generally speaking, you pair red wine with red meat. So if you're having beef or meats, red wine is always going to be a safe bet. If you're having some pork or dark meat chicken, red wine will still do. And for white wines, I mentioned chicken earlier, if you're dealing with the chicken breast or the lighter parts of chicken, generally the default is white wine. If you're having some seafood, white wine is also the default. As you learn more about wine, there is of course that gray area between red or white. You can sort of bend the rules depending on the wine type, but for this purpose of simplicity, we're not going to go into that. If you're going to be buying wine not based on the food that you're having, red wine is easier to appreciate as a beginner. The flavors are more pronounced. White wine tends to be a lot more subtle. The high acidity, the sourness, it's something that may put people off. It's much easier to get started with red wines. It should be like iced tea. Not that it should taste like iced tea, but make some good bitterness, good citrus, and sugar. So it's always a balance of these things. If one overpowers the other, then it's not a good iced tea. It's the same with wine. Okay, so number two. You're new with wine, but you don't know how much you want to spend. Well, fortunately, I have a lot of videos recommending wines at different price points for me. If you're working with a budget, actually think that 200 to 300 pesos, even if it's really cheap, it's a good price range to start. In my experience, I feel like anything that I get between 200 to 300 and they taste pretty decent, I'm really happy already. Between 300 to 400, I think it gets a little tricky because most wines are at this price point and it's a little harder to abstract which ones are better. If you're new, just try 200 to 300 peso range first. 300 to 400 peso range definitely has a lot of good wines as well, but it's gonna be hit or miss, especially if you're new to it. I'd even skip the 400 to 500 peso range because once you hit 500 to 600 pesos, I feel like 500 to 600 pesos is where wines really start to get good. Just as a side note, it's not that if it's more expensive, it's better. It's more expensive for a reason. A lot more care has gone into it, probably a lot more aging. So it's not a hard and fast rule that if it's more expensive, that it's a better wine because that would be too one-dimensional. But price does factor in. So these are my tips when you're selecting amongst the different price ranges. And number three, if you really don't know what to buy and my previous videos haven't helped, <laughs> I've included here big brands that you can get from pretty much all over the Philippines. So SM, Pure Gold, Robinsons. These are generally your good supermarket wines that you can get started with. The first one is Hardy's from Australia. So they have a good selection. So this is Knotted Chill. There's Hardy Stamp also. So this is almost an empty bottle for me. And there's also Hardy's VR varietal range. So Hardy's is pretty reliable, probably aren't going to be your award-winning wines or something that you're going to be aging for a long time or keeping your collection, but these wines are very dependable, definitely a good place to start. The second one is Lindemans, also from Australia. So this is a Lindemans Cabernet Sauvignon. And previously I recommended this Lindemans Kawara. Probably amongst these three, Lindemans would be my favorite. The last one, so this is a Premio wine. This is from the Santa Carolina brand from Chile. These three would comprise the three most dependable brands for me. So I've mentioned this before that wines from Chile in Australia are actually very dependable because they're from the new world. They're not as expensive as their European counterpart. So if you forget these brands or maybe these brands aren't available for some reason, going for some wines from Chile, Australia, or Argentina are always going to be a good bang for buck. And lastly, if you want to learn more about wine, of course, stick to these. One of the more popular brands, Novellino, is a sweet wine brand. I would steer clear from it if indeed what you want to know is to how you can prove your knowledge about wines. Because Novellino is actually a soda pop wine, not to put it down, but if you're looking to appreciate wine the way that probably you've seen in movies or here on YouTube, 
then that's not going to be helping you if knowledge and experience in different types of wine is your objective then steer clear of that all right so thanks again for watching guys if you have liked this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next time cheers